Welcome to another episode of Analysis Show. You guys have been amazing. The show has been hitting numbers. The, the value of the show has grown so much. I've had the amazing guests and this this running up, man. Let's run up. But today I have a special, special guest. Uh, another my my author European brother, my my former teammate in Milwaukee. And you know I gotta give him the intro, right? From Congo, Republic of Congo. Yes, sir. And Spain. Yes, sir. My brother, wearing number 25, Serge Ibaka. Yes, sir. One of the best chefs in the world, by, by the way, Mafuzi. <laughs> Mafuzi chef. Mafuzi chef. I do art. Bad art. Hey, first of all, thank you so much for coming to the show. Of course, my I've pleasure. I've been trying to get you, what? Two years now, three yeah, years now. Man, I, you remember I told you, you're the busy. only way to get me, you had to come to Paris. True. And now you're here. True, true. We're recording from Paris. We're wondering. Uh, and there's a lot of things I want to ask you, but one of the first things I want to ask you, like, what do you think about now, you know, Rudy retiring? You mean you've played, you represented uh, Spain team. You know, you've been playing for Spain. Like, him retiring now. Now, you saw this? It's his last game. Yes, I saw it. What do you think? Like, you, you, what was the last time you played for Spain? Uh, when the last time I played with them, um, I think it was uh, 2012 or 14, I think, if I'm not wrong. The last time it was uh, uh, the World Cup. World Cup. Well, during the World Cup in Spain. That was my last uh, tournament with them. And then, uh, yes, and uh, Rudy had a great career, man. I have so much respect for him, you know. For everything he did, for basketball, you know, uh, he's a he's a one of the best to do it in Europe. Yes, you know, I, and uh, even with, with the Spanish national team. Yeah, the, what, what did you guys finish that year? You remember the World Cup? No, we fin we 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 finished like uh, third. I remember if I'm wrong, third or fourth. Oh, so you got a medal? You got a medal that year? Or? No, that year we didn't get a medal. But the year, the year before, we got a, we won the Eurobasket. That's, Euro my, fir that's okay. my first competition with the really? national team. So you won the Eurobasket, the first competition? Yeah, I, I, with the Spanish national team, uh, uh, we won the Eurobasket. That's my first competition with them. And also, we, we were second on the Olympics in London. Yes. We played the final against the USA team, you know, the, the dream team with um, everybody. Kobe was there, LeBron, Dwayne Wade. Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, Camille Anthony, Dwight, all of them, the best. And uh, we played the final against them in London. You, uh, you think that Olympics. Team, you think that team could beat this team now? That team? You talk about the which team? Your team, like that, Kobe. Yes. The way they can beat this team? Yes. You saw the final? We <laughs> was close. That team? Yeah, that team. I feel like that team, because remember, that, that, that year, that Olympics in London, bro, they have Kobe. They have Russell Westbrook. Okay. Kevin Durant, Dwight, all those guys, they wasn't on, on their prime. On their prime, right? You know what I mean? And then the final we played against them, the, we played against them the final. It was it was a close one. It was not like easy. Like you see how they're beating everybody that easier? Oh yeah. It yeah, was not like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I I believe like the same team we had playing against this team, it would be a different story. Different it would, story. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely would be it would be a different. Who, who story. was your starting five? Do you remember? Yes, uh, my story fight was Pau and Mark Gasol. Pau Gasol, eh? Okay. And Mark Gasol. And Mark, eh? Pau yes. and Mark. Mark Pau and Mark. Uh, Carlos Navarro. Navarro, okay. La Bomba. And uh, uh, Jose Calderon. Jose, oh, Calderon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Who else am I missing? And uh, who was there? Uh, I think uh, Rudy Fernandez. Yeah, like Rudy was Ricky is. was Ricky still Ricky, young you, who, or Rubio? Still no, uh, Ricky he was young, but he he, he wasn't already an NBA. Yeah, he was already an NBA. Yeah, okay. he was an NBA player. So you are uh, Ricky on the bench. <laughs> uh, you have me on the bench. You <laughs> blocker. You blocker. Exactly. You know. You <laughs> blocker. Uh, so yeah, it was a crazy team. Man, do you do you ever do you ever miss you know playing for like this FIBA competitions? Honestly. uh no, no, eh? really, yeah, no, because uh, you know, I mean, a couple of years ago, maybe yes, but now I'm not really because uh, you know, sometimes everything I've everything I've uh, everything have the hand, you know, everything uh, at some point, you know, you uh, at some point, you, you, you I don't want to play forever, you know, yeah. every, everything have a time, you know, yeah. so I feel like my time came, you know, 
a couple years ago, but you know, um, I did everything. I want everything, bro. You did, you know. Man. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm grateful for for everything. For What's everything. okay? So, us being teammates, right? You in yeah. Milwaukee. Like, what was your first favorite thing about Milwaukee? And what's your worst thing about Milwaukee? What was no, that? no, I'm gonna start with the the worst thing about Milwaukee. <laughs> okay, start with the worst thing about Milwaukee. My, the worst thing about Milwaukee, my my Milwaukee time, it was not not being able to play. You know yeah. that that's it's something that hurt me. You know, yeah. and I I know I, because I I came there when I moved there it was like to play, even with injuries, I didn't have opportunity to play. You know so. You know how much I love basketball. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't, I, I love to I, play. I, we will never I doubt you. I put you out. Yeah. You know, so the much work that's why I'm, that's how I, the reason that's why I'm here. I'm still here playing in Europe now. So, you know, but yeah, that's that's the one of the, you know, the things. And then now about life in general, like life outside the basketball. I think the worst thing, uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I would say maybe the cold, maybe. Cold. Okay, cold. it's cold. You're more. Yeah. Oh, so what was yeah, the cold. best thing the about best thing Milwaukee? About Milwaukee is... Um, Basketball wise, okay. Yeah, basketball wise, the be, the best thing is like just being being opportunity to 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 be with you guys, man. You know, being having opportunity to be with you guys. You know, uh, you know, working with you, with you, Drew, with your brother. Mm -hmm. You know, all the guy Chris, Bobby, uh, um, uh, Brooks, all those guys. You just you know, uh, you know. I think that's one of the best things for me. You know, it's something. You know, it's gonna stay in my mind for. for I think I think all the guys like love yeah. you and all the guys like have great like uh, memories of you. The only the only thing I, sometimes we will leave and then damn we're leaving early because you know we used to always stay behind for you. We always, we always used to be like oh, okay we gotta wait for Serge. Yeah. But now you know you wasn't there, so I was like okay we're leaving earlier a little bit more. Yeah. But like, what is the difference now with Europe? Now you going back to Europe. Because I played in Europe, I want to know yeah. your experience now coming back. When you say the different is, uh, you know, a different, you know, like the game is different, man. Like in NBA, um, the game, the competitions, you know, the comp the competition is is more intense during the playoffs. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Like when the playoff time come, like now you now you see right now this is the competition. But here in, in, Europe, in Europe, I mean, by the way, let, just to let you know, it changed this year because this year with the playing tournament, oh, it was different. Like, okay, we were out here fighting to go, you know, and obviously the the be able to make the bonus money and go to the Vegas and all this is like, I kinda like, like, I kinda like fighting. It, <laughs> it, it, it gives more excitement, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, more excitement for the basketball for the competitions. Yes. So the difference between here in uh, Europe and NBA is like, yes. one thing I saw different is, bro, like here every game is ma matter. Game. Every game matter. Like that's a regular season. You cannot you cannot lose one or two. You know some games, some team in the NBA, they they can uh, you can wow. you can lose one or two game, three game. You're gonna see be in the playoff pictures. Here's not like this. If you lose two, the game if you lose like one or two game in a row, you're out of a picture of the playoff. You're out. So every game is matter. It's so intense from the beginning. It's only 40 minutes. You know the core is a little more small. Here's not three seconds. So everything is tense. It's tough. You know. You have to make quick move, quick quick reads. Um, on defense, nobody rests on defense. Like, like if you are bad defenders, they're gonna expose you. They'll expose you. You cannot rest. No, you cannot rest because the play. You know, teams want to play. Everybody participate. And for me, as a big, like you, you on you on defense, you have to defend every ball screen because that's how the plays go. It go through the every ball screen. So your, your big man is going to set, set screen, mm -hmm. he's going to roll. Yes. They got nothing, he's going to come back again. Yes. Like, till they score. Like, you participate in everything. And then you, when you go to the offense, and you do the same on offense for your team. So, to me, that's one of the different, you know. Uh, hey, that, that you just say team and... Uh, and, if, and if, don't forget, like, the fans here is crazy. I, I went to play in, in Belgrade. In Belgrade, yes. Oh, my God. 